Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi. Welcome to Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez, along with my co-host... Casey. Casey Palooza, or Casey Tron 2000. Alright, so today I thought, uh, since I'm setting up specific things in my collection, I would open something that's been sitting around for a couple years now. So if you know me, you know I love statues, right? But this isn't a statue. This is Tyrannosaurus Rex Dinosaur, May 2003, ages five and up. Uh, among the winners, there is no room for the weak. NTF02. Uh, this is a choking hazard for kids under three. How old are you? Eight. All right, so we're good. So I got this at TFCon. America's largest Transformers collection. Uh, yeah, when was it? Maybe like 2013 or something? I don't know. It's a long time ago. Anyway, it's been sitting, waiting for me to have a proper display room to put it in. And I thought, well, yeah, I've got that now. Now, it's, uh, it's a third-party thing, so the packaging isn't too important to me, but this is kind of cool. It's just a big card, right? I mean, look at the size of it compared to her head, right? So, we have a nice vinyl Grimlock. Now, this doesn't appear to be... No, this is not the, like, a five-up of the uh, uh, PVC Grimlock or the Heroes of Cybertron, or Legends of Cybertron, depending on which reissue you go with. But it's got, you know, it's blow molded. It's, it's big. The legs are not posable, the arms are. So the arms, you just pop them and you heat the vinyl up. This is like a Godzilla toy, All right? You wanna check that out? And as far as I know, they only made three. They made Grimlock, they made Slag, aka Slug, and they made a Devastator, which is really cool. He's like almost two feet tall, not quite. That one I opened up right away. That one's like one of my favorites. It's in the basement. Man, it's been so long since I've had these. It's almost like, do I want to open these? Oh no, it covered your face. I mean, this card's even bigger. And this is the back, you know, it's just simple, generic artwork. All right. Uh, sounds like there's something loose inside. Uh, this one is completely solid. It looks like the head and the tail are one piece, but they've been glued on. It looks like the looks like the back legs are one piece. They got glued on too. And the legs are definitely glued on to the Grimlock. But, I mean, this is really cool. This is, you know, they never made statue versions of these guys. Uh, Palisades did a Grimlock statue in, in beast mode, but it's, it's very stylized. This is very G1 animated. Speaking of G1 animated, I've got one of these. Now this, uh, Bumblebee figurine, I got it at Universal Studios back, I don't know, 2013, I think, 2014. Anyway, I helped work on the ride. And uh, so this is a figure, I, I had another one in the basement. This is, a, this is an official figure. This is exclusive to Universal Studios. I don't know anywhere else it's come out, but it actually has Universal Studios on the back. And it's got that uh, lovely, um, you know, style guide artwork on it. So I have one already downstairs. Carded. Just thought I'd 
break this. Oh, man. Casey, feel the weight on this guy. This is a solid guy. Feel the weight compared to this. Like this, you now compare it to that. What do you think? That's more of his. Yeah, this is like three times heavier than this. Wow. That, that is amazing. Can the arms pop out? I don't want to break it. Maybe they're glued on in there. I don't, I don't know. The torso and the head and legs, that's definitely one part. It looks like the arms have been glued on. Um, wow. This is a pretty solid piece. This is, this is a cool piece. Um, what do you think? Should we open something else up? Mm -hmm. Hey, I did have something else I want to open up. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're glad to have you here. Uh, everyone's out of the house, but it's, it's just us. Um, put that little thing in his mouth. No, it doesn't stay, okay. Bumblebee. All right, so I got something else. I've never done this on the show before, but it's time for a little TMNT. Do you know what that stands for? TMNT. Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got my first set. It's a it's a big box. The box is much bigger than I expected. Look at this box compared to the size of her head. It's huge. It's, it's a huge box. All right. So. These are the classic figures. Uh, I ordered the first set from Super 7, then I missed the second set, and then uh, luckily Big Bad Toy Store, my go-to place, had it. Uh, all right, so it looks like this is just a generic box. I was hoping there would be like another box inside, but it comes very much like the He-Man figures. So we got one, who, who we have here? We got Raphael. We've got Foot Soldier. We've got Splinter and Bakester Steakman. All right. Um, I'm so glad Raphael came in the first set because Raphael, he is crude uh, but cool. He is my favorite turtle because he's, he's just angry all the time like the Hulk. So there's no tape. They're not sealed. There is a tab on here. Here, I tell you what, why don't you open Splinter at the same time? So look, there's the tabs. You don't wanna rip them, right? You just wanna pull them out like that. So there's one on the other side too. So what have we not done on the show? Have we done Star Wars? I don't think we've done anything Star Wars. All right, so here it is. I've been waiting for these for so long. That is a nice box. There is tape on the bag. It's just the bag. It's just the bag. So with like He-Man and, and Robotech and Star Wars and Aliens and Predators and all that stuff, uh, yeah, I just get one. I'm not crazy, like I have to have two, you know, one sealed and, no, I just, I just get the one. So here, Casey, use the knife. Okay. It's called cut the tape, not Rip the bag open with your long fingernails that you should have cut last night when I told you to. All right, so, uh, Raphael. Remember, always cut towards your enemies, not towards yourself. I just wanna compare the boxes. Oh, okay, take it out of the bag because I wanna show them. All right, so this one, this is Splinter. It's got Splinter on it. This one's Raphael, it's got Raphael on it. I think it's safe to say that the Baxter Sockman and the Foot Soldier would have their own uh, look onto them. Let's see, yep, Foot Soldier. It's got the face of a Foot Soldier. It's not the hand, it's the foot. I guess if there was another show, it'd be like the head or the feet. Or there's hand, there's foot. How many extremities do we have? All right, anyway, Raphael, so it's not sealed. It 
It's so weird to say it says Nickelodeon on the back. How weird is that, that Nickelodeon, you don't know. Nickelodeon owns the Ninja Turtles now. Oh, there he is. Casey, smell that. Yeah, Ew. that's a, uh, no, that's not, that's a good smell. That's what I've been trying to, to bottle. That's the smell. That's called, that's, that's uh, eau de toilette. That's perfume. And uh, that fragrance is called uh, Case Fresh. Because it's Case Fresh. It just came out of the case. Oh, look at that. Raphael. Uh, so one day at Hasbro, we had uh, the guy who does uh, Elmo come in. I forget his name, Kevin. Um, he doesn't do the voice of Elmo anymore. You can Google why. But uh, he came in and he did Elmo for us because we had just acquired the Sesame Street license. And uh, somebody recognizes IMDb and he's like, oh, hey, this was the guy who did Master Splinter. So it's crazy to think all those years later, I mean, Ninja Turtles was like my favorite movie when I was a kid that I got to meet Master Splinter. He was the puppeteer and he did the voice. And you know what's weird? He remembered all the names of the turtles, but he said Raffaello, because I guess they all end in O. Just the good ones end in O. All right, so. Casey, I am excited. I am excited, Casey. All right, this is, this is no bueno, though. I can't take this out of the packaging without opening the packaging. That's, that's not good. Oof. I mean, just because I don't get one to keep sealed doesn't mean I don't want to keep it in nice condition, all right? But what's cool about these are, so this has uh, a double tray, Casey. So it's got a tray on the bottom, a tray on the top. Typically with a double tray, there's four pieces of tape. Sometimes they put two on the sides, that's lazy. If you're gonna put a second tray. So the original Ninja Turtles, when I, when I was your age, well, I was a little older than you, I guess. How old are you? Eight. Wow, has it been eight years? So I was about 10. 10, yeah, going on 11 when the Ninja Turtles came out. They all came out with their weapons on a tree like this. So this is called a tree, right? And all the weapons are on sprues, right? That's a little piece of plastic that connects it to the bigger thing. And you would have to twist them off to take the weapons off. And all the weapons came unpainted. And that was like the signature thing for the Ninja Turtles. All the weapons were unpainted. Well, Super 7 has given us a set of the classic weapons on the sprue, unpainted as well as a painted set of weapons, which is awesome. I love that the turtle has uh, his eyes whited out. That's awesome. So he's got his original uh, weapons. Uh, this was always my favorite weapon with Raphael because you can stick it in the back. And he's also got his turtle communicators, an extra head, a bunch of different hands. And he's actually got two katanas, two sets of katanas. So he's got his, uh, you know, I would say gunmetal gray and then his steel colored katanas. And he comes with a slice of pizza with the original did not. It wasn't until many, many years later, Casey, that I finally got an April O'Neil. I think it was like version three. Let's see how easy it is to take him out of the packaging. Now these are... Ah! Now these are great, because these are gonna go right with my He-Man figures. Oh, and that hand came out. I thought I broke it, but look, man. That, I don't like that. That's very bad. See that? That's a very, very small peg. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. I feel like I'm gonna break it. I don't like that. But it's a solid figure. Here, check it out. The only thing this is missing is a stand. 
needs like a little sewer top to stand on. What do you think about that? I like it. You like it? You don't like it? I don't like it. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Mm. I bet it's like Steve or something. Raphael. Raphael? You're only saying that because I said Raphael. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay, Casey. Uh, let's see how the head pops off. Head does not pop off. I see the ball joint. And there's no paperwork. There's no instructions that says, hey, heat it up before you do it. But you know what? Um, this is a very toy accurate head. This is more of a movie inspired grin. So this is the head it's going to stay with. Oh, they just come right out. I love it. I love it. Even the fingernails are painted. See, that's so bad. I hope they change that on the other ones. A little retooling, but sheen. Now, Casey, this is what's called a six inch figure. All right. This is what you would kind of, I guess you would kind of call this like a masterpiece figure for, for action figures. So the original Ninja Turtle, which I have somewhere, they're, you know, the legs move, the arms move, the head turns, and that's kind of it. But this one, look, it's got, it's got knee joints, it's got elbows, it's got wrist articulation, it's got shoulder heads. I mean, you're living in a golden age of action figures. Oh, let's see how big he is compared to Bumblebee. Yeah, nice. Let's see, over here, we'll put him on the tray. Nice, nice. Here comes Grimlock. Ah! That's what Grimlock sounds like, don't look it up. Anything else we wanna open? No, no, that's it, we've opened enough stuff. We gotta start making dinner before What's-Her-Face comes home. All right, thanks for watching Cut the Tape. You can email us at cutthetape at tftalk.net. This is Casey Tron 5000. Uh, I'm Rick Alvarez. Remember to wear a mask, wash your hands, and register to vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for, but you should register to vote. All right, say goodbye, Casey. Bye. Oh, man, I set you up for a perfect joke. I said say goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Casey. It's... Uh, kids. All right. Ciao.